Cleveland, your home is an incredible place to live. How lucky you are to be from Cleveland. I know you don't hear that every day, but you should. Some of you may have heard of the chef Anthony Bourdain. Bourdain has written best-selling cookbooks and hosts a television show. In each episode, he travels to a new city to profile the place and its food. So a friend suggested that this chef bring his show to Cleveland. Bourdain was reluctant because he didn't think Cleveland was interesting enough for him. And then he came here. These are the words Bourdain now uses to describe Cleveland. Incredibly beautiful, gorgeous, very, very exciting. This is a person who has traveled all across the country and all across the world. In Cleveland, he found an exhilarating city. And the restaurants are good, too. <laughs> so Bourdain was a little thrown by what he heard about Cleveland while he was here. He said, and I quote, in the first 10 minutes, people tend to tell you everything they don't like about the city. But then they tell you how much they love it. The writer and Cleveland native Charles Mishner has made a similar observation. There was an interesting story in the Cleveland Plain Dealer last weekend about Mishner in the book he's writing about Cleveland called The Hidden City. Mishner has worked as an editor at Newsweek and The New Yorker. He's lived in New York, Japan, Germany, and England. And yet, he marvels at Cleveland, at the Cleveland Orchestra that ranks among the world's finest, at the Cleveland Museum of Art, at the new life springing up in the Euclid Corridor. For all its wonders, though, Mishner says that people here have an ingrained modesty. An ingrained modesty about Cleveland, he says, that can easily trip into self-denigration. I think we're all justified in spreading the good word about Cleveland, and in doing that without 10 minutes of qualifiers or an abundance of modesty. And the same is true when we talk about Ohio. Because we need to remember that the words we've been called, battered, bleak, depressed, and despairing, those are powerful words, but they are not true. Let me tell you some things that are true. If your products are sought are sought after across the world, then you will thrive in the long run. Now there is one state and only one state in the entire United States of America whose exports have grown every year for the last 10 years. That's Ohio. A low cost living means a more economically sustainable life for a people. It means being able to provide for yourself and your family. It means lower costs for businesses trying to attract a talented workforce. The cost of living in our state is the second lowest in the Midwest and the second lowest among all of America's large states. That's Ohio. If there's anything about the modern economy that we can learn it's that every day it gets easier and easier for any company to locate anywhere. We are in competition with states and nations for almost all new development that we are seeking. So we have to make Ohio attractive to businesses. And when the tax reforms in place are fully implemented, Ohio will be one of only two states in the nation without a general tax on corporate profits. 
and without a general tax on tangible personal property. That's Ohio. <laughs> Site Selection Magazine looks at business expansion and relocation plans across the country. They count every single major investment in new facilities in every state. And when they do, they award their Governor's Cup. They award that Governor's Cup to the state that has attracted the most. And for the last two years, the same state has won that award, and that's Ohio. <clears throat> we have a wonderful opportunity now in Ohio to build from these strengths, and we will. Let me say just a few words about four sectors of our economy that really illustrate Ohio's incredible potential. These are four sectors that we've targeted for a state investment in our job stimulus plan. Because these are areas where Ohio is already a national leader and where there is a window of opportunity for us to advance development and lay claim to be an international leader. With our incomparable universities, hospitals, and health science companies, Ohioans have developed in the past the kidney dialysis machine, the MRI, the first antihistamine, and countless other great medical advances. Ohio leads the nation in the growth of venture capital investments in the biosciences, and Ohio is host to one in every five clinical trials in America. We've all seen firsthand the impact of Rainbow Children's Hospital and the Cleveland Clinic, both ranked among the nation's finest. The quality of our medical facilities in Cleveland and in Ohio is simply <clears throat> incomparable. In the U.S. News and World Report rankings, Ohio leads the nation with four of the country's top 15 children's hospitals. Rainbow's neonatal care unit is the second ranked facility of its kind in the U.S. The Cleveland Clinic, meanwhile, has spun off two dozen startup companies in the last decade and averages <clears throat> some 200 inventions each year. Last year, Ohio made the largest grant in the history of our Third Frontier program to assist the Cleveland Clinic in launching the Global Cardiovascular Innovation Center. The center is a research incubator that will create hundreds of jobs as it conducts life-saving research. Experts have concluded that with our manufacturing base, our location, and our university research teams, Ohio is among the top two states for potential new jobs in renewable energy. <clears throat> Demand for advanced energy worldwide is soaring. We know that. Wind turbine installations have doubled in the last three years, and solar installations were up 62% just last year. One study has estimated that more than 2,000 Ohio companies make component parts that could be utilized in advanced energy. And we're already seeing energy companies come to Ohio. IBC Solar, one of the leading solar companies in Germany, has committed to establishing its U.S. headquarters in Cleveland. In logistics, the Ohio advantage is enormous. Within 600 miles of Ohio is the majority of the U.S. population, the majority of U.S. manufacturing facilities, and the vast majority of U.S. corporate headquarters. Because of our central location, there is no state better suited than Ohio for logistics and distribution centers and the jobs they will bring. Now the fourth area we're investing in is bio-based products. Ohio is first in the country in the advanced polymer industry. 